So it was October morning when I left Greece to compose songs for second Avalon record and uh, my idea was to basically rent an apartment from Athens and stay there two and a half weeks and compose the songs and that was exactly what happened so I rented this kind of a cool artistic place and um, put up like mini studio in there set, set it up and, and basically lived there for two and a half weeks composing songs and I didn't go out much just basically stayed in the apartment and, and uh, I had a um, sort of a method how to compose the songs which I normally use is that I start with the song titles and in this case with Avalon I have a story so people know that this is a trilogy and this is second part of the trilogy so I took a chunk from the story and based on the story I created like 15 song titles and, and I put them to the wall of the apartment and I put also the names of the singers to the wall uh, so I could determine the characters and which songs they would sing in so this was the basic framework for that uh, setting it was a bit difficult with the songs because Athens and the story are in some ways related that was the reason why I chose the city to compose the songs uh, so the story is in, in a way related to Athens it's not about Greek mythology or something like that, but there is a connection and that's why I went there. The, the atmosphere was totally right for the songs, but there was only one problem which I had and that was that <clears throat> the songs did not come. So I had everything set up, I had the um, mini studio there, I had keyboards, I had guitar, I had everything set up, I had song titles, I had even the order of the songs. So basically I had everything from the album in my head except the music. And I was wondering like after six days or something when I had no songs if this was a good idea to come to Athens. and, and but I also know that sometimes it has happened to me that I have to sort of wait for the songs to come to me because the way I compose is not that I sit down and I start playing and something comes. The songs really come to me. Something starts playing in my head and I hear a melody or something and that then takes a shape or form or something and then I play it and then just in one day it started and then the songs came very easily it took probably not even five days to compose 15 songs and of course I did not make them fully ready there were ideas but they, they were pretty complete I had no lyrics or nothing like that, I had the melodies and riffs and stuff like that and ideas for drums and things so I got the job done although first it was was um, a bit difficult and I started feeling like a bit of an anxiety in this place and then I started to go out and I went to the harbor of Athens called Piraeus which is a very beautiful place and I was sitting there 
I'm looking at the sea and thinking that it, it's probably minus five in Finland and, and it, it actually was a good idea to come here or there and um, that sort of helped me I think to go out a bit because I had this idea I'm gonna stay inside until it's done so then um, at the end of the period of staying there I had some free time in the end so I was going around of Athens a little bit and meeting some friends and going out and then headed back to Finland only to find out that my flight was the only one from something like 400 that was delayed and so I missed my connection flight to Finland in Amsterdam and I had to spend an extra night in, in a hotel in Amsterdam so I, I flew then, then the next day back to Helsinki and rested a couple of days and then came to the studio and I transferred the material from Athens to my computer here and started listening to the stuff and then in the process of making records the next phase is to make demos so I make my demos are usually horrible because I dislike doing demos and I am sort of spoiled in that because like in Stratovars I never did demos really they were like so horrible that when the guys got the tapes they were like are you are you kidding it's like every time it was the same thing but every record I've done when the musicians have received the tapes they've been like what is this and I understand it because I hear how it sounds I know how it's gonna be but a drummer might not of course from a guitar riff or something a crude demo tape with a horrible vocals or something cannot understand how it might sound so but also to me it's it's important because musicians very often fall in love with the demos so they copy everything from the demos and then in the actual recording of the album you have difficulties because they have rehearsed the demos so I have to spend a lot of time to get them out from the demos and to really express themselves in the music or what it really needs because I'm not thinking about details when I make demos I think about if the song is good or if it's not because to me it's either good or not so in this place where I mix the, uh, and master the stuff I make the demos and, and there will be demo vocalists coming here uh, to complete the demos and then the process goes in the way that I send the demos to the record company and then they are either happy or they are not happy. This is how it usually goes. And, and with Frontiers it's, it's um, usually that it has been that they listen to the stuff and, and they like the most of the stuff. Sometimes they want to change a couple of songs and then I just write a couple of songs. Sometimes they like the whole thing, you never know. Um, this is a, a good thing for me because sometimes you get too close to your own music and you don't really uh, see the big picture. But on the other hand, I'm a control freak, so I want I want to have this this liberty to control the whole thing. And uh, now that we are releasing these blogs, and this is the first one. By now we have um, introduced two people, that's Simon Simons for the vocals and my ex-bandmate Tom Lassila 
for the drums and um, today is 7th of November I think so in two and a half weeks we're gonna start tracking drums already so this this um, project is is going forward very quickly now and I'm completing the demos in three days and then I sent them to the record company.